Now, joining us now for more on the end is Nobuyuki Nakahara, a former Bank of Japan policy board member who's criticised the central bank's recent actions on the yen as too little and too late. Hello, sir. Thank you very much for joining us today. Well, you're welcome. As I said, uh, you've criticised the Bank of Japan's actions as too little and too late. Does that mean that Bank of Japan Governor Masaki Shirakawa is out of his depth? Well, uh, too little or too late is not surprising because that is one of the uh, solidly rooted Bank of Japan tradition. And the situation has not changed since I left uh, the Bank of Japan in 2002. And this time again, the measure they have taken uh, sim is simply too little too late. And you're, you're, you're calling for the, for the Bank of Japan to cut interest rates to zero. But do you actually see the Bank of Japan following your advice? Because first, they have to study the adverse effects, don't they? Well, I have, uh, I have been thinking of three measures and uh, the one basic uh, measure is to fill in the gap in monetary growth monetary base growth rate between the united states and japan on, an, on uh, an, a uh, per annum basis japanese monetary base is growing only at five to six percent whereas the u.s monetary growth is growing at 21 percent and if there is such a gap, yen tends to be naturally strong vis-à-vis -vis the U.S. dollar. And remember what George Soros said, uh, what matters between the two currencies is the difference in the speed of the rate of increase of the two currencies. And Japan is in that situation now. And secondly, the target for policy rate for the Bank of Japan is 0.1% uh, around. And for the Fed, it is 0 to 0.2%, 2 5%. Uh, that is the range. And ours is just a point. So my uh, second proposal is to uh, uh, change from point to uh, a range of 0 to 0.1%. And the third suggestion has been that the Bank of Japan should increase the purchase of government bonds from the current level of 1.5 trillion, 1.8 trillion yen to 2.3 yeah. trillion yen. Yes, at least increase of one, uh, one half of one trillion yen. OK, thank, thank you very much for joining us today, sir. Nobuyuki Nakahara, a former Bank of Japan policy board member.